intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Hello, welcome to a fun video. I've got the quarters and dimes I could pick up from the coin shop from the overstock. And I am going to crack these open and we're gonna see what's in here. I'm not expecting a whole lot. Um, they uh, do separate out and sell their silver and stuff. So I'm, I'm assuming these are just gonna be um, regular old quarters and dimes, maybe some from some albums. So there might be some nice ones in here to check against my albums and such. Um, I have found some uh, some uh, gold-plated coins and uh, a few uh, stickerized, colorized coins as well in the quarters. So let's get into these and see what we got. All right, we're going to start off with dimes. These are going to be pretty easy. I'm just going to crack them open. We're going to see if there's anything standing out. And then um, I'll go through these off camera just because... I'm not expecting a whole lot other than maybe some nicer ones. And that one is not a nicer one. There, so let's just check out the edges. And you can see no silver as expected, but there are some nicer edges. Well, that is a pretty nice 1972 there. So, man, there might be some upgrades. Oh, there is a Denver. I thought that was a proof for a second there. Just some surface uh, discoloration. So yeah, there are some nice ones in here. Very cool. So I will be sorting through those and setting aside the nice ones to check against my album. But for now, let's just set this roll aside. And uh, after I open these up, I'll sort through them and uh, just uh, check back with you before I uh, open up the quarters. Expecting uh, more cool finds in the quarters there. Ooh, there's a pretty nice one on the end there, that time there. Let's see. And let's zoom in just a little bit. And then as you can see, no silver edges as expected. Pretty nice, 1991 out of Denver, very cool. So I will be checking the nice ones. There's some nice tone on this one. Let's just take a quick look at this one. I don't know if you can quite see the tone. It looks so much nicer in person. You can kind of see it there. Oh man, holy cow, that obverse looks nice. That's a 72, that is a nice 72. All right, here is the other half of the roll. Again, some really nice edges and then some circulated stuff, so nothing great there. Um, well, aside from the nice coins, but nothing amazing standing out. And let's see, oh, we got a nice coin on the back end here as well with this one. It has a nice little tone on it. Nice little yellows. And anything standing out here? Nope, nope. You keep your eye on this one here. I completely missed it right now, but we will talk about it in just a minute. Nothing standing out, nothing from the edges. I'm trying to be gentle with these. Some of these are quite nice. So yeah, that's what I got with the dimes. Let me sort through these and um. Some of these are just circulated dimes and just be tossing to go to the bank. Um, that is a 1966. And others are quite nice. There's a 1965 with the same type of discoloration on it. 1971. Well, so, um, this one is circulated. Has some fun tone on it, but it is pretty circulated. Tone is not really showing up. Ooh, what's going on with the back? Something. Looks like something ate away at the surface a little bit on the reverse. Mm. Maybe that fun tone is some discoloration. 
from some kind of chemical. It's kind of what it looks like. All right, let me sort through these and I'll be right back. Okay, so I should have looked at the edges a little more closely. I don't know if you noticed when we were looking at edges. Well, we got a sneaky 1964 silver dime in there. Nice. I was not expecting that at all. This is a Denver. Very cool. That is a silver dime surprise. Nice. So I'm sorting through. I've got some stacks of nice ones I've got so far. Getting rid of some of the more junky ones. And I'm um, about halfway through. And then we'll be back and order some quarters. All right. So I went through those. Um, did hit that one silver, which was completely unexpected. So that's cool. And then um, I have some 70s, 80s, and 90s in really nice shape. I'm going to slide over to the side here for now. I'm going to check those against my album. I have a album. I collect. Where I collect the dimes, nothing, uh, nothing fancy or major in there. Had a couple of, I had a two thousand and two two thousand ones that were nice keeping. Um, had two. Nineteen seventy, with the proof reverse that has the extra details, the extra lines on the top of the torch there, on the top of the flames. These are both out of Philadelphia, so that is those. Let me uh crack into these and we're gonna check and see what's going on with these um again i'm just expecting maybe some nice state quarters maybe some nice uh 70s 80s 90s um probably i would expect mostly states and mostly um atv uh, america the beautiful quarters there and then if I'm off the screen, just yell at me. Hey, put it on the screen, which I won't hear you until after I've edited and uploaded the video. So this one looks like a whole roll of states, looking at it. You can see from the edges, some of them are nice, some of them are not as nice. And they look like all full of different states. Um... Yeah, they all look like stick quarters. So I will be sorting through those and seeing if I have any nice ones. I have a stick quarter album, which I have, and it could use some upgrades. So that'll be interesting to look for. And we will check for any Irish varieties on any of these. There are some fun things to look for on the stick quarters as well. Next one, let's see what is going on here. Some more state quarters. Wouldn't surprise me if these were all state quarters. That is a pretty nice Denver opera. So that one, it, it is a state quarter or newer. Um, nope. I see a 2009 in there. Let's see. Can we get it out there without? Nope. This is America the Beautiful and the 2009s in this roll. The edges are quite nice. And see how shiny those are? Very cool. But uh, yeah, I do have... The 2009s are in here as well. So I'll be checking those. I'll be checking this one for the doubling on the reverse. And then we got America. The beautiful quarters in here as well. Oh, there's some state. There's a 2010... 2010. Oh, that's a nice one. So we will check those. There's another state quarter. So, yep, looks like a mix. State quarters. More state quarters. So, yeah. Maybe it might be heavy, heavy state quarters and only a few ATB quarters. There's another 2010. 2010. 2010. Is it state? 29 and 2010s. Um, I think the 29s were technically an in between, but they often get placed with the state quarters because that was more where they were. All right, roll number three. Anything going on with this? All right, more state quarters. We got a 
guess uh, I got a collection of stick quarters in. Some of them are nice, some of them are a little circulated. Let's see, state, 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 state quarters. Yep, Texas, Florida. Florida was a little beat up. It happens, that's what happens in Florida. You get a little beat up. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, looks like all state in this one. All right. So I will sort through these and check for any type of areas varieties. And I'll probably be checking these against my state quarter album, which I do have some states that I do need upgrading. So that will be nice. Um, all right. Well, I will be right back and let you know if I find anything really cool on these quarters. All right. So I've gone through these. No uh, airs varieties. I did hit four. One, two, three, three from 2010. Then we got 2009's 87654, 321, 2099. Um, I think I got, I got at least one from each state, maybe two. Um, these are the ones that are a little more beat up and rough that I'm not going to keep. I'll check these against the album and stuff, see what I got. Um, but I think I'm going to wrap it up here. If I have some quite long videos uh, of coins from the coin shop lately. Um, these were probably the best finds. I had two 1970s with the proof reverse. Uh, 1968 proof reverse was used. Um, I believe this is FS901 in the Cherry Picker's Guide. has the extra details on the flame on the torch. These two lines here. Not supposed to be there on the 70s. Or the 60s. There's a, I think 69 has it as well. And that's the rare, rare one to find. Um, probably the find of the hunt is this 1964. Um, Denver Silver Dime. It was quite unexpected, but not going to complain about a silver dime. So that is it. Um, just hopefully this, this might keep the video a little bit shorter. Um, probably going to take some time to, to check these against the album. I'm not in a, in a rush to do that, so I'll do that on my own time. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, post me out, drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And a very special thank you to my channel members. Thank you very much to everyone who is supporting the channel going above and beyond. Link below if you're interested in checking out the rewards you get for signing up. Thank you very much.